How to find antilog of any number without using the antilog table? So in the earlier series, I had discussed about finding the logs without using the log table. So in that, you were supposed to remember the logs of three numbers. That's log two, which is 0.3, log three, 0.48, and log five, 0.7. Now, if I just take the antilog on both the sides, then can I say that two will be equal to the antilog of 0 0.3. If I take antilog on both the sides, then the antilog value of 0 0.3 is equal to two. Similarly, the antilog of 0 0.48 will be equal to three and antilog of 0 0.7 will be equal to five. Meaning if you know the logs values, then the values on the right, the antilog value for that will be equal to the corresponding number. Okay. Now, if I talk about log of four, we know that will be equal to log two square, which is equal to 0 0.6. Then log six could be found as log two into three, which is addition of these two values, which is 0.78. Then log eight, are find which is two cubed. This is three times the value of 0 0.3. That will be equal to 0 0.9. Log 9 will be equal to 3 ka square. Matlab, it will be 2 times 0 0.48, 0.96. Or log 10 ka value, you know, is equal to 1. So we can say that anti log of 0 0.6 is equal to 4. Anti log of 0 0.78 will be equal to 6. Anti log of 0 0.9 is 8. Anti log of 0.96 will be equal to 9. And anti log of 1 is obviously 10. Fine. So if we get some weird values, some random values which are between these numbers. So let's say we have a value to be found as law anti log of 0 0.3952 somewhat like this. Now, this value, if you observe, is in between 0.3 and 0.48. So if antilog of 0.3 is 2 and antilog of 0.48 is 3, so the antilog of this number is going to be between 2 and 3. And it is kind of average of 0.3 and 0.48. Matlab, approximately a middle value, hoga, which is 2.5. Ab, what is the significance of the value before the decimal. Jo decimal ke pehle value hota hai, in case of antilog, we raise it to the 10 ka power. Matlab, antilog of 0 point any number will be equal to some value into 10 raised to 0, which is 1 only. Okay? But if I am, am having antilog of 2.48, then 0.48 ka antilog to you know is 3 into 10 raised to decimal ke vale, whatever is the value raised to the power of 10. So this will be equal to 300. What if, if we have a bar value? So let's say I have bar 5.78. So 0.78 ka value antilog is 6 into 10 raised to bar 5 is equivalent to minus 5. This is the answer. Similarly, if I have antilog of now also antilog 1 jo hai, that will be equal to, sorry, antilog of 0 is equal to 1 because log 1 0 hota hai. So if we have a value of somewhere 0 0.15, so ye 0 or 0.3 ke beech mein hai, that will be somewhere 1.5 and then 10 is to 0, which is equal to 1.5. Ab maan lo, middle value nahi, lekin kuch or weird value a jati hai. So let's say we have antilog of 0.88. Now, this is very difficult to find the accurate value. So 0.88 is very close to 0.9. Matlab, the answer to this would be just less than 8. So in the options, you have to find a value which is less than 8, which will be 7 point something something. And man lo yaha par, uh, if I have bar 2, then you have to just find the answer as 7 into 10 is to minus 2, which will be equal to 0 0.07 something something. Now that something something is not important because out of the four options, you can easily find out the correct answer because you know the 10 ka power and you know the approximate value 
एंड द मेन इंपॉर्टेंट वैल्यू बिफोर द डेसिमल इज ऑलरेडी नोन की लेस देन एच वैल्यू विल बी समवे सेवन पॉइंट समथिंग so this is how you can find anti log of any given number without the need of looking into the anti logs which is very helpful for the entrance examinations thank you